pit road good day. It was a great day for us. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get back going again. And I'm not so sure that it's a bad thing because uh, we're terrible in the restarts. Um, but uh, sure, we'd love to give it a shot at a win. You know, I, I thought I thought we had. I didn't even know the 20 was still out there until it started raining. And Steve Latart started telling me uh, what was going on. But you know, just a phenomenal day in the pits and, and by this whole crew. I mean, la- yesterday we weren't very good. Steve Latart and all the guys really went to work last night and uh, brought an awesome race car to the track today. It wasn't good on the restarts, but other than that, it felt like we had the best car. And uh, then that last pit stop, and the guys were just really getting it done in the pits today. And that's what I thought got us out first, but it just got us out in front of all the guys that we were racing. You got to give credit to uh, you know the, the guys uh, on the 20. It's a gutsy call, and it looks like it's going to pay off for them. And Steve Latart said that if it holds out for him, that's the gutsiest call of the year and the best call of the year. You poked your head inside the window. You remember what it was like when you won your first race at Charlotte. What did you say to him in the car? Well, it doesn't matter how you win them. I mean, everybody is out here working as hard as they can for, you know, pit stops, fastest race car, and making the best calls. And, um, you know, I just I just told him that, it, congratulations, I thought it was over. And he's like, don't jinx me, don't jinx me. It's not over yet, but I'm pretty sure that it is. And uh, I was trying to, trying to get him to use as much fuel under those uh, caution laps as I could. I thought for sure he was going to run out based on what they were telling me. And uh, he still made it here to pit road on the red, and now it's raining hard. Yeah, I felt like we were much racier this year with our Miller Lite Dodge. Uh, Good changes. Crew was up and down a little bit, but uh, my restarts, i got to give them an F today. I couldn't get going. Uh, Sliding the tires on the initial start, sliding through the corners. uh, Then it would go about after four laps of running. So that that was where our downside was, but the car was good on long runs. Those double file restarts, man, when you inject that into our racing, it seems like it changed the whole game. There's more to think about. And after lap 150, you don't know when the rains are going to come. To me, that's a complete race. You better go and get what you can. And yeah, I stepped over the line a little bit, but that was excitement. That was exciting. I think Jeff can have a smile on his face right now, but yeah, maybe stepped over the line. (laughs) And that was Jeff Gordon giving the push there. There he was. He was rubbing back, and um, it's great. You know, this sport has um, been clean, and the guys that you race with are clean. And when you can rub a little bit like that and still finish second, third, that's all right. Well, we had a really, really good car, and we were, you know, running right around the top 10 and and, uh, thought we were in pretty good shape. And then, uh, Got jammed up in that wreck there just trying to avoid that, and it, it caved the quarter panel in. And, and from that point on, uh, you hear those guys talk about side forces and stuff like that and how aerosensitive these things are, and I never would have believed it would have come into play as much here as it would someplace else. And, and it's just got to where it was undrivable. So we were, were taping the quarter panel back together and struggling, trying to get it tightened back up. And, uh, you know, Roddy Shoulders just said, well, you know, we'll come in, we'll try and fix it and, and do the deal. So it uh, looks like it may be over. So uh, yeah, that's a good finish, good day for us.